Shields up, Iron Breakers. Brookhound here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise, and today we're going to be taking a look at the hammer. Now, for the hammer and the sword and shield, I'm actually going to be doing individual videos because these are two weapons that I feel like I have a lot to talk about, considering that I've played them a significant amount in Monster Hunter World as well as Iceborne. So uh, let's have a look. A blunt force weapon that hits hard yet doesn't hamper mobility. A smack to the head may stun enemies, has powerful charge attacks, and a variety of maneuvers. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's dive into the self bind attacks. First off, we have the impact crater. Extinction event from the sky. What? An extinction event? Oh, Angie. Angie's back. Uh, jump straight up and dish out a devastating rising attack that also hits multiple times on the way down. Hmm. We'll see. Then we have Silkbind Spinning Bludgeon. Spinning Bludgeon, dude. Those of you that don't know what the Spinning Bludgeon is, the attack where Hunter starts spinning like Sonic. Like, that was one of the, the first attacks that um, you got to see, like, in World, where you're like, holy crap, look at the thing the hammer's doing. This is insane. Uh, Wheel of Misfortune unleashes a spinning attack that deals multiple hits while leaping forward. You can perform this attack from a charged state or hold down the charge button when the move starts to charge it up and let it rip anytime you want by releasing the button. Oh my god. You can charge it. You can charge a uh, friggin' spinning bludgeon. <laughs> this is gonna be too good, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, that's the usual one. There's the spin to win with the golf swing. Ow! What? No, no, no! Oh my god, okay. I have to control myself not to pause. God, the animation on that is so good. Dude! Oh my god! Oh man! Like, Hammer was already like such... To me, Hammer was such a big winner. And, and like, I remember when we saw the moves in Iceborne in the beta, I was like, oh man, Hammer doesn't get that much. It's like, Hammer doesn't need that much because Hammer's so much goddamn fun. Like, I, I feel I feel like I was such an idiot back then when I said that. I was like, oh, well, Hammer didn't really get much. Yeah, you know what Hammer got? Fun. Fun. It's just straight up one of the most fun weapons you can play in Monster Hunter Rise. Like, I remember that um, Dark Hero uh, back in the day used to like main... Um, he used to main the hunting horn and then eventually was like, Hey, I want to try out hammer. So, uh, I remember at the time I was actually doing the, the videos with the, um, the, the crash courses for Iceborne. And I was like, okay, so here's what you got to do with the hammer, dude. And I, I, I remember typing like <laughs> a whole like essay on how to just get started with the hammer and Dark Hero started playing the hammer. And I, I think he barely ever looked back. Like he was just so addicted to it. He friggin' loved it. And the hammer is it was just one of those weapons that in iceborne really started shining even more for me like i already liked it in world but in iceborne with the the simple things that they added to it it was just such a joy weapon to play and oh my god seeing these animations here is just like insane okay so now we're gonna do the the pause version okay i mean look at i have to pause it here wait look, look at this look at this look at that <laughs> Dude, it's insane! <laughs> the way the hunter's like left with with his feet completely up in the air, dude. I love the animation on it. Oh my god, I'm so hyped for Hammer. So here's the, the default one. Here's the one if you are moving while you are releasing the charge, which is, you know, the spinning stuff. 
Now, here's the interesting thing. Notice how he goes from a golf swing and he naturally transitions into another attack. Now, the golf swing used to pretty much just be a finisher when it came to the hammer. Looks like you're going to be able to transition from the ending of the golf swing into another attack. That opens up a lot of possibilities. Like, look at that. He just seamlessly flowed into the other attacks, dude. That's like a damn infinite combo. I mean, look, golf swing into that downward attack, boom, and then bam, dude. And then of course the spinning bludgeon. Oh my God, charging up the, sp the silk vine spinning bludgeon, dude. Oh my God. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Get KO'd, Angie. Get completely busted. And the impact crater, look at the animation on the impact crater. Boom. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Oh my God. Okay, so I, I got to tell you guys right now, from all the weapons that I've seen so far, and I haven't looked at the SNS as of the recording of this video, I haven't looked at the SNS yet. I can't wait to do that. But dude, just looking at this, it's like right now, the hammer and the lance are like two weapons that I really got my eyes on, you know? Dude, hammer looks so legit. But I also want to play Lance. Oh man, and we haven't even seen the Charge Blade. Or the Gun Lance. Or the SNS, which I'm gonna be looking at today. God, dude, it's so good. Just the way that the attacks just seamlessly flowed into each other. <laughs> and again, you know, Hammer is Ryozu's weapon, so it is what it is. Ryozu gonna be like, hey dude, you guys better make hammer real good. I'm gonna fire all of you if the hammer's not good. Look at that. Spinning bludgeon is just so good. And this, what the hell? There's a lot of animation commitment on that, though. You really gotta time that appropriately. Like, I can see a lot of hunters uh, struggling to land that move because of the animation commitment. Like, you're... It, it's not... It's no joke. Look at this. Look at the amount of time you're in the air while you're preparing. Like, I think you almost got interrupted there because uh, Angie was about to fire breath him, but he was able to knock it down before. You're really going to have to position appropriately for this move. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed. This is going to be ideal uh, for when the monster is, is knocked down. So you'll want to use uh, the spinning bludgeon more in order to like get him staggered. Then once he staggers, that's when you want to really hit him with the impact crater. That thing's got to have, like, redonkulous amounts of KO. There's no way that particular move doesn't have, like, the best KO in the goddamn planet. Anything less than the best KO in the planet is going to be a disappointment. Oh my god. Wait, is that, a, is that multiple hits? Yeah, that's multiple hits. Yeah, he hits while he's going up. Yeah, while he's spinning the hammer, it's also doing hits. I didn't notice that. I thought it was only the big one hit at the end. Oh my god. How much how much more hyped are you hammer mains out there? Huh? Huh? All of you hammer mains out there? Type it in the comments. How much of you are super hyped for this sweet new hammer? Oh my god. Looks friggin' amazing, dude. Oh, I'm so pumped. But yeah, guys, that is the hammer in Monster Hunter Rise. It is looking hella good, and uh, it is definitely going to be one of those weapons that I'm going to be keeping a close eye on, uh, particularly when we get to the, um, to the beta. Right now, Potentially one of the weapons that I'm most hyped for from the ones that I've seen. It's it's between the hammer and the lance. But uh, the next video that I'm doing today is going to be the sword and shield. You guys know that I have a soft spot for the sword and shield. I'd call it like my number two weapon. So uh, we'll see how that pans out. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit up with a like. If you did not enjoy the video, hit up with a dislike. Feedback is important. Uh, if you usually enjoy the content, subscribe, bell notification uh, icon, and all of that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.